Where can I wear this to? I don't know. Look at this. I am so excited. I have actually no words. Whoa! Alrighty. Princess Polly, I fucking love you. Hello everyone, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly video. Today's video is going to be another Princess Polly haul. I got eggnog. It's the new year. I have eggnog left over from Christmas. We're not going to mention it. It's still good. If you guys know, I have a little partnership with Princess Polly to bring you guys a haul video every single month. New year, new month. We're going to start off strong. I am so excited for these clothes. Like always, I have a new discount code for you guys. I'll put it on the screen, but it is CBXO, all in capitals, and you can get that for 20% off your entire order on Princess Polly. Everything I want to show you guys in order and my sizes will be listed down below, like always, in case you are interested. However, I'm just going to jump right in because I'm staring at these clothes and I am so flippin' excited. So we're going to get started. So if you guys want to know what I got from Princess Polly this time around, just keep on watching. I don't know where to start. I have a range of things and I'm so flippin' excited. So I think I want to start with a blazer because I'm just wearing a plain t-shirt. Okay, well first of all, I have to talk about something. <laughs> like this entire like first three months or so, I have so many events happening, especially in March. Like Jesus Christ, your girl is booked and busy. But I have a Harry Styles concert coming up at the end of February and the start of March as well. I'm going twice, one in Melbourne and one in Sydney. But my plan is, I think I saw there's mascara in my eye. I think I saw Jazz hand on Instagram have like a full white outfit and then like a cream blazer on top when she was on holiday and I fell in love. So I bought a white skirt in this haul video and I have like a lace bodysuit that I want to wear and then this on top with like calf high black boots. I think that'll look iconic like Harry Styles but this is the blazer. Let's just get into the clothes. So this is the first item of the haul video. This is the amber oversized linen blazer in beige. I'm pretty sure they did have a black one and like a grey one but like different patterns and different styles. I got this in a size 22 and the Australian price will be on the screen like normal. If you guys are new to my haul videos, the price is on the screen. It's kind of hard to show you because it is a blazer, but it looks like this. It's like a beige blazer. I was going to get the black one, but I felt like I have enough black clothing. I have beige clothing as well, but nothing blazery. So I'm just going to whack this straight on top of this white shirt. I am wearing bed shorts, and it's the length of my bed shorts, which I'm actually quite excited about. So let me just button it up so I can actually show you guys what it looks like. Look how cute this is. Boy! Oh my god. So this this is what the blazer looks like. Again, very, very oversized, but I got a 22. If you wanted it more oversized, even though it is naturally oversized, you can probably upper size even more. You could probably get away with wearing it as a dress if you got a larger size. It could go down more. I don't know. The pockets are massive. So happy about that, especially if I do wear it to my concert. The arms are a little bit bagginess, but I love it. You've got two buttons at the front, which you can undo. Depends on the outfit you wear with a blazer, if you want to open or not. But this is what it looks like open. I actually like it buttoned up, which is very rare. It's like a thin material but it's also thick in a way that you'll be warm if it's cold but you won't boil if it's hot. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's not itchy. It's a really nice material. I have had some blazers in the past that are itchy as hell and I don't want to deal with that. Like no, not at all. I think if I style it correctly it's going to look stunning which is obviously why I bought it because I want to style it really well. I feel like with a lot of Princess Polly stuff you have to style it incredibly well and obviously when I'm doing these haul videos I'm not going to style it because it takes a lot longer than I want it to. I might have to do a video on that on how I style my clothes. Am I the best? No, but I think it's cute. I like this color too. What am, what am I doing? Okay, I think we're going to move on to the next item. I'm going to take this off because I feel like I'm going to ruin it. So this next item I am so excited for. So this next item is called the Amaru Corset Top Pink Curve. I got this in a size 22 and this is just stunning. It's gorgeous. I am a little bit scared though when I unpackaged it because it does look like it's meant for bigger breast and you guys know I'm very small chested so we'll see how that goes but this is what the front looks like it's very sparkly but then there's a corset on the back because of course the straps are adjustable which I love to see so this is the corset part I don't know how this is going to go for me especially being in my room by myself filming a video so I'm not sure how that's going to go but this like color is like this is one color I would call this one color but this fabric is absolutely stunning you do have a side zip I keep forgetting to tell you guys there are zips there's no boning but if you do have a look, the corset does like come down into like a little bit of a V. Nothing dramatic though. But putting this up against my body, I'm a bit scared. So I'm going to whack this on. Hopefully we look good. Again, I'm just wearing bed shorts. So let's not talk about that. Oh, I should take the tag off. That would help, wouldn't it? I am so scared. <laughs> okay, so it's not a full zip. It's half a zip. Or actually 
more than half a zip, let's be honest. So I'm actually going to use it because that would be the smart thing to do. Okay, definitely needed to undo the zip, Chloe. Jesus. Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Am I going to be able to zip this up? Probably not. I'm going to get a cramp, dude. Oh, oh no. Is this not going to fit? No, this has to fit. Come on now. Unless I just undo the... Like, how do you do corsets? Because I haven't touched it. I've just left it as is. Maybe I just stretch it out a bit. Oh, my God. I can't even do the zip. Of course, I have to call my brother to help me. Chloe. Chloe. Can you help me zip this up? Because I don't have anyone here. Oh, shit. I don't think my dog's going to do it. Bye. There we go. Thank you. Thanks to Corey for helping me. This is stunning. I got this in a 22, right? If I got this in a 20, boy, I think I'd be a bit more struggling. But this is so effing cute. Th this in itself is stunning. The front, like the pattern is gorgeous. This with black pants would be everything. But then you turn around and you got that corset. Excuse the excess fabric. I'd just tuck it into one of the bottoms I would be wearing. I didn't change it because I don't know how to do up corsets or anything. So like I've just left it and just focused on the zip, which is on the left hand side if I didn't mention it already. I haven't changed the adjustments on these straps either so they're fine for me but again they are adjustable this is stunning i love the shape and i love the glitterness is that a word of it and you'd think it'd be itchy but it's not like can you hear it it's not itchy it looks so coarse it with no bony i have actually no words like party in the front and literally still party in the back like come on now i just i feel like every time i do a princess poly haul it just ups it it's been a while since i've done one so i'm like okay i know what they're like what they have and stuff but i feel like this time around i'm just like still in awe of what they have it's crazy dude and as a small chested girl as you can see not much tete happening but it still holds them in place which is what you want because i'm not wearing a bra or anything i think just this back this back Back makes my back look really nice and I don't like my back you guys know but if you do look down a bit it's a bit loose on the top but again I do have small tits so like I feel like that's just that problem dude oh. this is just something about getting new clothes that makes me feel incredible okay let's do some bottoms let's get out of these PJ shorts because I don't think they go really well with this top and I feel like this top needs some justice so let's put on the white skirt I was talking about for Harry Styles it looks like a piece of fabric which it is let's be honest the next item is a plain white mini skirt so this is called the Shelby mini skirt white curve and I got this in a size 22 when I opened it I was a bit scared because again it is a mini skirt but like it still looks short which again it's a mini skirt I should know right like hello it is this fabric here and obviously being white i thought it was going to be see-through but there is two layers underneath and then you have a zip in the back this has no stretch it's just fabric i'm not sure how to describe fabrics but this is the fabric it's like a linen-y type of fabric but i don't think it's linen <laughs> so that makes no sense but this with this top will go really well but this was my plan for harry styles to wear this and a white lace bodysuit and that beige oh my god the beige blazer i don't know why we're gonna say corsage that's a fucking flower thing and i'm not even a American. What am I? Go I don't know what's on. I think the only thing I'm worried about is the length. I am 5'6, 170 centimeters, just for reference. So I'm going to see if I can do it without the zip. I don't think I can because my hips are not going to fit that. <laughs> so the zip is in the back, which I kind of like. I feel like skirts mostly have them in the side, which just irritates me. It's going to fit. I'm just trying to get the zip and not the cord of the corset because it's just hanging down. Oh, okay. Dude. <laughs> dude okay so this is the skirt again it's not too mini like it's decent this is the waistband it's actually got a bit of room like considering i thought it was gonna be a bit tight but i like it it's like okay on the tummy area and it like flows out past my hips because obviously i have the widest hips ever the length is good on me i'm a fan of the length you can't see anything i'm wearing nude underwear i think but you can't really see it which is good but again if i'm wearing white anyway i'd automatically wear nude underwear well, it's just a simple skirt but because it is princess quality princess quality no <laughs> Because it is from Princess Polo, the quality is insane. Like a simple white skirt that will last me years on years. I could wear this skirt with anything. Princess Polly, got to have some words with you, babes, okay? Stop bringing out good shit. Because I am going to have my whole entire wardrobe be Princess Polly. Which honestly is not a whoop. It's not the worst thing in the world. So I have a skirt, a top, and two dresses left. Because it's spring here. No, it's summer. What? Why does it say spring? It's summer here and it's hot. So obviously I'm not going to have any winter things in this whole video. But again, Princess Polly's still have like a bunch of wintery stuff on the website so if you are like in a wintry country is that what i would say you can obviously still get seasonal things at princess Polly, but i just bought summery things for me because obviously i'm in summer right now and it's 30 
plus degrees every goddamn day. So let's put a different top on and I'm so excited for this top, but I'm really scared as well. So this top comes in two parts. Didn't realize that at the time, but that's just me being an idiot. This is called the Acro Mesh Corset Black Curve. I got a size 22. This is the corset part and then this goes over your arms. There's a word for this. I don't know what they're called. I have a green one from Princess Polly that I did in a haul video. It's like a mini cardigan. You guys know the deal. But this will go over the top of my shoulders, over the top of the, co uh, the cardigan, the corset. But really quickly, I'll show you this because it's going to be better on the body. At the arm, it has a little bit of a cut. So it like flares out a little bit. So that looks weird. But the main thing was this corset because this corset... <gasps> to die for. This is what it looks like. Again, it is black, so I'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see. You do have adjustable straps like the one I'm wearing here. The boobs are completely covered, so you're good there. And then below that, obviously, where the like stomach is shown is mesh and there is a little bit of boning so whereas this one has no boning there is boning in this one and the mesh goes all the way around so the only thing covered is the boob area and in the middle of the boob area you have a little u-shaped cutout this is gonna look so sexy if it fits and again once again there is zip at the back again the mesh is a bit stretchy I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Oh yeah, you could tell. But with the boning, I'm not sure if it's going to give that away or not. What I'm going to do is whack this on and then whack the little mesh cardigan over top. Because again, I can wear both of these items, I believe, by themselves. I think you can probably wear that mesh thing over anything, if I'm being honest. But it is meant to go with this. And I think it will look good with this. And only this. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to try and get out of this. Now, this is definitely easier to get out of. I think it's definitely stretchy enough for me to put over my head and not actually unzip it. The straps need to be a bit tightened. Whoa! That's actually pretty... Not large, but it's definitely bigger than I thought it was going to be. I could downsize in this. Whoa! Alrighty. As I said, it's a little bit big here. But again, I feel like if you had more, you know, boobage here, you'd be fine. <laughs> Um, but I did fix the straps a little bit. This was a bit loose, but now that I fixed it, it's okay. Um, the tag is sticking out, which is obviously not what you want. But as you can see, this is all mesh here. This is the boning right there. And the boot part is obviously covered. And the back is completely mesh. So what I'm going to do now is add on the little cardigan. So with the actual like armpit areas, I'm going to try and show you up close. They have the little sticker rubber thing you always see. So it hopefully will stay on my arms a bit better. Twisted! Oh god. I feel like some people just wear this stuff better. But regardless, I think it's quite cute. But I love mesh, especially on my arms because my tattoos, you can still see them. I'd love to style it a bit, like to figure this out more so than this because this is fine. The arms have that little cutout like I mentioned. I don't know if you'll be able to see. These are kind of hard to like style, especially when you have big uh, shoulders like me so like i think it's meant to be like here i like it without with this or without this i like it okay it's time for another skirt and this skirt is absolutely stunning look at this color i feel like we need some color up in here so obviously i had to get some color because it's me so this is a longer skirt than the one i'm currently wearing this is called the starry midi skirt blue curve i got this in a size 20 because it is hella stretchy and i probably could have <laughs> down to size even more this if i can move the tag is stunning this is a stunning blue cover cover color um it has a bunch of flowers on it and it is such good quality double thickness you have the inner lining of the light blue and then this is kind of meshy i don't know if you'll be able to see through that but i can see you guys and there is a zip on the left hand side which i definitely am not going to be able to need because it is very stretchy when putting it on my hips it comes to my ankles considering it is labeled a midi skirt which what would come to my calves probably so i'm not sure how long this is going to be on me but again like i said with the white skirt i'm currently wearing i'm five six so i'm like an average height of person height of person am i okay now i do have a fear that it's going to be a bit too big because again it is like that stretchy material yeah this is definitely not a midi skirt <laughs> I don't know who thought this was a midi skirt. Oh, this is cute. Something very different for me, actually. It's like I should be in Hawaii. This is the top still on. So if it is annoying, I'm sorry. But this is the skirt down to my ankles. So it's definitely not a midi skirt. But this is comfortable as hell. I have put it up underneath the corset. It can go higher as shit. This could probably be a dress. Is this a dress or a skirt? No, it is a skirt. You could probably put this at your boobs and make it a dress. If I just put it here, I think this is a comfortable length for me, personally. I like this. The color is stunning. It makes my hips look fantastic. I don't know. I feel like you could get away with wearing this as a dress. Not gonna lie. Like, you could for sure do this. Because this, to me, down the bottom is a midi skirt. Like, half calf. You know what I mean? I don't know. You could 
definitely get away with it. It's definitely a lot to work with considering there is so much fabric. I think I've never gotten a long skirt from Princess Polly before, but this is really cute. Again, good for the summery days that are a bit more cold, not cold, but not as boiling. <laughs> and you still want to obviously wear something kind of cute. This is really nice. I do like it. Definitely different to the mini skirt I just tried on before, but I like the pattern. Like it's stunning. The different shades of blue I think is what like makes me very happy about it. Like the different shades of blue is just stunning in this design. And plus I don't think I own anything in this colour anyway. So it's just good to add it to my wardrobe. So the next two things are dresses. One is very up my style. Up my alley, up my style, whatever. And the last one I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it till last because I am so sceptical of it. I saw this and I'm like that's me. That's like early, probably 2019, 2020, Chloe. This is definitely her vibe, but it's still my vibe. It's looking very off color on the camera, but this is a mini dress. This is called the Freya Mini Dress Curve. I got a size 22. On camera, like I said, it looks more pastel than it is in real life. It is not like bright, but it is pastel, but it looks like white on camera, it's not. So it is a floral dress. This is the floral print, and this is the boob area. This is like a ruffled, and then it goes straight into a straight cut of a dress, and you have a little bit of a slit down there. You do have a second layer, as well as the fabric layer, the pattern layer, you should say. The straps are thick, not a there is a zip on the left hand side <laughs> and the back of it looks like it has elastic I don't know if you guys can tell it's not elastic whatsoever is there any elastic in this I wouldn't say there is actually it just looks like there is so you got some ruffle detail on the top quite my style this skirt is so comfortable I can't oh my god oh lord oh that's so fucking cute <laughs> The style in this video is insane. Like the differences, can't, I just, what? I am literally sweating. This is actually so adorable. And it's gonna be so good in like the next week <laughs> because it's so hot. I'm not gonna be around so you can see the full length. This is the dress, a little midi dress. This is a very me dress and I'm actually obsessed. Um, but it's also different because I don't really have a style, let's be honest. I just like, if I like the look of it, I'm gonna get it. Like it's not that hard. This is actually really comfortable. It has a little bit of a slit like I mentioned, but nothing dramatic. This is the top. I do like the ruffle. It's really, really stunning. I do approve of that. The zip I did not use to put it on. This is the back. Nothing dramatic. It's a very simple dress, but it's also very summery, springy because of the pattern and the color. I love this. This neckline is great. It looks so white on camera. Like I just don't know why it looks like that. Hopefully if you look at the photos you can tell the difference or when I'm editing hopefully it just fixes itself magically. I like this. The length is good. It's probably the same length as the skirt. This is nice. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm sweating so I keep pulling it down because it keeps sticking to my sweat. So I apologize about that. This is cute. Which is some chucks like on a picnic day. Oh that's a vibe. Now we're going to move on to the last item which I saw online and instantly fell in love. Like, it was fantastic. I loved it. I'm packaging it yesterday. I was like, this is a bit scary looking. It looks long as hell. Like, it looks physically long on me. And it looks like a bridal gown. But I had an idea in mind to, like, wear a corset and wear something underneath it and just layer it. I don't think I'd ever wear this as it is. But you never know. Well, we're going to see what happens because I'm a little bit scared. What is with me in white? I have no idea lately. But this is called the Rossell. Leah maxi dress white curve. I got this in a size 20 because I believe the size 22 was sold out because it is limited stock. So it is a silk material. It just looks like a 90. So you have adjustable straps and then this is the top. I think I fell in love with the top area like the lace and the boob area. Like I think this is stunning. And then after the lace finishes it just goes into this long ass white dress part. Now putting this up against my chest it like is touching the floor. And I feel like I'm going to get married in this. I just picture myself wearing a corset. Like I have a white corset that I got from Princess Polly that I can wear this with as well. It would match really well. I'm going to turn a neck underneath it cinching it in with the belt. I just have like some ideas with that. Regardless I think it's really cute. I personally like it. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. I know that. But I like to include different styles in this video just in case everyone is watching. There is a zip up the back so I'm kind of intrigued to see how long this is so I guess we will just have to see. I think it's going to look so stunning. But it could also look like a 90. But I feel like people wear 90s as dresses now. Like they go to an op shop and just get 90s and like, and just wear them as dresses. Now I don't think there's an underlayer. I think it's just the silk material. So it's just that material. So I have no idea if it's going to be see-through or not. Oh, okay. Wait. <laughs> Wait. 
Wait a damn minute. Are you kidding? Hang the fuck on. My boobs are squished. It's just because the straps need to be adjusted. Oh, that's tightening them, Chloe. Jesus Christ. Okay, that's a bit more loose now. My boobs can kind of breathe. It is a little bit tight on the top, but again, this is not my normal size. I would get this in a 22, but I just could not pass this up. I just needed it. Needed it. This is actually... Stunning. Fuck right off. <laughs> the fact that I get to do this and I'm wearing this exquisite dress is insane. Like, what is my life? <sighs> I need to make a TikTok to that, like, share. Is it share that says, can I get some commotion for the dress? Because this fucking dress is something else. I just got to talk about it for a second. <laughs> this is a little tight on my boobs, but it's just because it's not my normal size. I would, I wanted this in a 22. I knew it would be a bit uncomfy, but I just sat down, took some photos, and it was fine. It's just, like, right here that's a bit, uh, you know? But this lace is stunning, and it goes all the way around the back in, like, a little section. Like, nothing massive compared to the front. The length isn't too bad. Like, I was showing mum, and she's like, maybe it's better if you just put shoes on. So, I feel like if I put shoes on, it'll be fine. This is absolutely stunning if you're a darker skin tone i think this would look absolutely fire like this silky material will be so stunning unlike anyway it just makes you feel a million dollars this haul was really good i don't think pictures and videos do this dress justice unless you see it in person like this is insane it snatches my hips like nothing has ever done before but now i'm just like well i don't know if i can wear it anywhere with something underneath it because the top is a bit too tight for me because again it was out of stock but i wanted to try this out so badly i was like yeah i'll be a little uncomfortable it's not too bad if i undo the straps more than i did previously it's fine this is something else i'm done i'm done i'm literally floored princess polly thank you very 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 much for doing this with me for many months and hopefully many months to come so thank you once again to nadine and the team from princess polly for letting me do this video again i have a discount code you can use cbxo all in capital letters for 20 percent off your entire order all the products i showed in order and the sizes i got will be linked down below okay i think i'm gonna end it off here but i don't have anything bad to say about anything i'm just so happy companies like princess polly are making cute as fuck things for the plus size community so again everything is linked down below if you are interested my discount code everything is down there so please give it a look massive thank you to Prince Polly once again but that is all for today's haul video if you like this video give it a thumbs up for me because it is hot in here <laughs> if you're new here please subscribe make a video every single Thursday at 12 p.m. for you guys all my social media links and everything I did show you guys in this video link down below like always thank you guys for always supporting me and letting me have chances like this to actually do these videos for you guys but regardless hope you guys enjoyed it and remember to spread love as they positive and i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone